Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3, season 4, episode 3 of Bryce Talk Show. Yeah, it's been a month uh, since I did an episode. That's alright, I think we can... Uh, I think we can manage. So we got a lot to discuss about. I got the community tab for YouTube, Super Mario, I might talk about Mario Run since I've been playing it. And other stuff I want to discuss about, um, maybe Halloween time. Since that was just this week. And how the time flies so fast. Just a just an idea. And more topics on the way. Like YouTube, you know, doing 4K videos you have to pay for now. So anyway, let's start. I, I um looked on my channel and I saw the new community tab. Which if you haven't seen the community tab on a lot of big bigger users they can just post text and maybe post a poll share a video from somewhere else it's just a way to interact with users and it will replace the discussion tab now before then you had to have a thousand subscribers for this to take effect but I guess it's been dropped so that's one good thing YouTube did finally so if you go to my channel you won't see the discussion tab anymore Instead, you will see the community tab, so you'll see when I post something there. It's kind of nice. I was hoping I'd get something like that. Maybe, um, I could have good use for it. Because I remember it being out, and a lot of the time, it was just, the, every time it was just big creators. Everybody with a thousand subscribers could use it. Us little guys really couldn't. Well, I couldn't anyway, because I was still probably... 100 subscribers, maybe 90 at least when it was around, but whatever, when it first came around, 80, 80 or 90 subscribers, whatever, maybe, but I still couldn't use it because of that limitation. Well, it looks like I can now use that tab, so be on the lookout for posts on there from me in the f near future. Let's also talk about Halloween night. So, Monday, I was over there bowling at Roll 3 with my family and I, mom went, my sister went, my father went, my dad went, yep. He went with all of us and went to the thing. Now, the bowling lanes are all messed up, first of all. I wouldn't reset. And secondly, the game, the arcade game over there, it's not that great anymore, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. They didn't even have skee-ball. Now, usually Rule 3 has stuff like skee-ball and, I don't know, all these other games. They had Space Invaders, one Pac-Man game, and some of the machines they did have, either they didn't work, they did, but they sucked. But, I think we did a good turnout, though, I mean, we bold and that's what we came for but and the items too like they don't even sell that many great items too I've been in roll 3 and buy many items with tickets many times they had all bunch of balls and wallpaper cushions and just all kinds of stuff but pretty much the same stuff we bought like they haven't really came out with anything better in the past couple of years I mean, some stuff they don't even have anymore in the shop. That, or you don't have that much tickets. But, they don't have, like, they had a, these selections they used to have. I used to have a big old ball. A ball it was a bouncy ball, but it was bigger in size. You know, that black ball. I've done a couple videos with it before. And it's a black ball. It just bounces around where I got that one. And I also got a ball that had a chiming so you can shake it and it'd make a had a chime inside it. It's kinda cool. And then about four years ago or so I got a whoopee cushion that didn't even work more I had a, I think a mount about two or how many of them I got. And they didn't even work for about a couple of weeks or a month. They do so when I'd sit on them sometimes and they go and they stop working. So I got two whoopee cushions Monday night and I got a little ball that when you throw it, it it, it, it um, lights up. So that's kind of cool. But we were there f probably around 6 o'clock to 8. So about we were there for about 2 hours in there. And we thought, well, Halloween, everybody's trick-or-treating. It's not going to be too crowded. We can just get in there. 
we can just do our stuff so that's what we did and of course I went on shortwave and tried to get more pirate radio probably would have been better later on when more pirates were active but at least I recorded XFM on Halloween weekend Sunday and so I did do that So, I tried, like I said, I tried to log some, get some more pirate stations in for the Halloween day and Halloween night. And also, isn't it crazy how it's already November already? I promise you, time just, it just kind of goes fast, it goes fast every time, let me tell you. There's only one radio station playing Christmas music, and that's Sunny 95 in Columbus. Because I'm in Ohio, so that's... And, and even I like it, like, whoa, it's November 2nd, they're already doing... Well, at least when I'm recording this. It's November 2nd, and they're already doing Christmas, wow. I thought, well, that'll be good to record the very first f switch of the format, which I'll be good to give you an air check of that. So, yeah, um crazy many people are it's already starting to switch well one of them is then we'll have 93.3 the bus start doing it i hope i can get a air check of the actual time where they switch the format over instead of just like any random time where they're playing because i i came this morning and i turned on the radio and turned to sunday 95 and yeah they were playing the kelly clarkson song on the chris or the christmas tree or whatever the hell that song is yeah so they were playing that, and I'm like, well, they're doing that already, wow. So, and, and then, so that's kind of crazy, because it's already, it'll be December, and in like another month. Well, it'll be Thanksgiving in about three or we three weeks. Then December, Christmas, and then the end of the year. If things look to be alright, I should be in Florida again in the holidays so expect me to do that and uh, yeah I hope to um, I always hope to return one way or then one way or another and you know because that's what I I doing but I swear I think this year this year as a whole flew by pretty fast I mean I think ever since I came to from Florida on the 31st of December and January came was a Saturday it just crazy it just went by like that and we're at November 2nd as at the time I'm recording this and so it's kind of crazy just how it flew that fast anyway even the fall I mean we're halfway through fall, even. I mean, that's crazy. So, just... Just now, I guess, it just flies by quicker and quicker. <laughs> yeah, soon... Yeah, soon... I might, may just be back down there again. I think we're going to stay there for two weeks this time. If it all goes well, we... We stay in Florida for that long, and I want to do something on YouTube. Maybe um, a rave party with break beats and Florida break beats and stuff like that. I can you know make an audio record audio file. I'll talk in there. I'll have a mix going on, and I'll premiere the video maybe at a certain time when I leave at night, so it can be like a party at night. So that's just one thing I was thinking I was doing. Um, wouldn't want to use OBS and leave that stuff on while I'm gone anyway, so what I'll probably do is if I if um I get to it is probably um <coughs> turn that into a video. Use YouTube and schedule the premiere for that time, the twenty first. I think we might be leaving. So stay tuned for updates on that if that becomes a thing. Now let's talk about YouTube and paying to watch 4K videos. Now we know Susan Wojcicki and their team on YouTube has done quite 
some crazy things here. One being, you know, a lot of the being COPPA and removing dislike counters on videos. I could probably go on and on and on. You know, being biased and removing content. You know, I could go on and on and on and on. Well, they've took it themselves to a whole new low. So over the past two weeks, they've done testing on a few <clears throat> free users to see if they would, I guess, see if you could watch 4K a uh, premium option. So they had people, I guess, get premium to see if this will work. I don't know how the whole story went. But now, if you want to watch 4K videos, or you want to watch videos in that quality, then it looks like you're going to have to pay up for that now. Which is a drag, because YouTube already has enough for the money. They have all the stuff. They have YouTube Music. They have all their stuff in YouTube Premium. Downloading videos for offline, including your playlists. Saving the videos. Not getting ads. You know, what more do you want? So they they start rolling this out and like, well, they're just gonna keep digging themselves down a hole where they ain't coming up out of because they keep on doing stuff like this. This is the stuff that will ruin you know ruin themselves as a whole. So I I I don't know. I just think they've done this and so if you cited people out there know about this you'll know that you probably won't be able to do 4k video quality without being just paying for that so that's how low they've be become And you think for, uh, for someone as someone who uses it, like, what's going on over there with the company? I mean, it seems like for me, to me, they're, you know, going down a rabbit, uh, down a hole that who knows if they can get out of. I mean, they've screwed up so many times by so many ways. Coppa being one of them, removal of features and other stuff I won't even mention because it'll take way too long. Mm-hmm. And now they do this. I see how you are. So you remove the dislike counter. Oh yeah, we can't forget that. Let's not forget that. They remove the dislike counter, so now nobody can see their dislikes except for the creator. The creator of the content. The person who is creating the content can only see those dislikes. And that's how it's been since November 2021. So if you think about it, it's been about a year since they took this thing down. I wonder how they feel about that. YouTube. Susan Wachiski. Hey, all y'all people at YouTube. Hey. How do you feel about that? What have you accomplished over the years since you removed the dislike counter? Hmm? Answer the question. Nothing. So don't give me that excuse. No, we did. We helped the. We did harassment. We kind of we saved the harassment. Yeah, on big companies, on babies who can't take dislikes. And then now you're doing this for this 4K thing where you can't watch videos in full full quality. So, yeah, that's a problem for them. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't see how that how they can mess. I don't I don't see how I can be making this up. This is pure. This is true. This is what's going on with them. Now let's talk. Um, 
the Super Mario Run franchise and how I think uh, how it's been. Now, as the game released in 2016, the game came out, you know, everybody was, like, excited for it. Now, I gotta admit, I was too, because as someone who played many Mario games, especially on the DS, the Wii, you know, even the NES games. So, of course, I'd be wanting to, wa- wanting to buy this. So you got you get the app, all right, and you got all these two two worlds, and then you pay about nine dollars, kind of like a DS game, whatever. It's Nintendo; they want all the money they can get. Greedy, all these developers want all the money, and they probably have all the money. So there are a couple things. A couple of years later, they introduced Mix Ten, and they also introduced the character Daisy for Mix Ten. And the ability to play your own music from your music library, which I think you can on a lot of the games now. So, now, for the game-wise, there are some good and there's the bad. The only bosses is for fighting, you have Bowser and Bowser Jr. You don't have um, Bones or any of the other known bosses in many of the franchise. You also can't shoot fireballs. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense because you're just tapping on the screen. You can't really, I mean, shoot. It probably would have been good on taking on an enemy like Goombas or the all in powerful Bowser and, you know, just any like that. You also don't have underwater levels where you swim like all the other games do. So, I mean, you have a couple, you have tower, you have, you get a couple overworld levels, um, a couple underground levels, maybe you'll get some desert levels, but other than that, that's pretty much it for the game. I mean, uh, and another shady thing that Nintendo has done, so... If you want to play this game without requiring inter- without using the internet, well, you're out of luck. So you can't go on the airplane and play this game. All because of DRM or they want to protect it from their piracy because they're so into their property. Oh my gosh. Well, um, yeah. Now they have all these servers and you... you 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 can't you just can't play it without using without Wi-Fi. I mean, or cell data. You can't just play with any. Yeah. So that's kind of a drawback, especially for those who want to play it in an offline setting. You know where they're not connected to any network whatsoever, and they want to play a game. So. If you wanted to look for something like that, then I'd probably, um, get, um, not just because they don't, you, you can't do it for offline. I would look further if you wanted to play, play it on an offline setting. So that's a few crazy things. They do have Toad Rally, which also has tickets too. You get tickets to Mix 10 and Toad Rally. And the Toad Rallies just have like a minute of playing and you collect all these coins and you gotta collect all the most coins to win on each of the levels that I guess the, you know, you play those, the ones you've beaten. Now Mix 10 is kinda cool. It, it, um, it's pretty much a short snippet of the levels you'll be playing. And they let you play a little bit on Mix 10. And you can win on that. And you can just play a little on Remix 10. So that's another cool thing. And you can challenge your friends to to the game. And... And that's another thing that you can do to the game. I mean, they haven't worked on it for so long. I feel like it's been 
four years since they pushed the biggest updates to it. I mean, they've been just doing small updates, and Nintendo's kind of abandoning it a little bit. And then they got Mario Kart Tour now, which is not even, which is not even something to think about. I think that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please do give that video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I got a lot that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And we got all kinds of goodness all on here. So, stick around for all the best content. See you later.